Hello Adam and welcome to Who Wants to Win a Fiver? So audience, basically what this is, this is our own adaption of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. But we don't have a million pounds, we have a fiver. The rules. You have four lifelines. I have four lifelines. Four lifelines. Four. One, call a friend. Billy. <laughs> That'll be Billy. Yeah. Two, ask the audience. Three, 50-50. Uh, and four, clue. Clue, we got Where I've clue. got to somehow give him a clue. It's gonna be interesting. So it goes from 10p to 20p to 50p to 75p to a pound to pound 50 to two pound to two pound 50 to three pound to three pound 50 to four pound to five pound. We have a total of 12 questions providing I get them all right. Yes. <laughs> Question one. Question one. For 10p. For 10p, let's yes. go. So, Mario Kart is a video game series published by which company? Ooh. A. Nintendo. B. Sony. C. Epic Games. D. Blue Hole. Never even heard of Blue Hole. A. Final answer. A. Nintendo. Nintendo. Final answer. Yeah, I've got this. You're correct. Yeah. Ten P. Ten P is in the bank. Okay. Let's go, boys. Question two. Question two. If you get it wrong, you leave with nothing. Uh, wow. That, that's that. If you get it right, you win. Twenty P. Here we go. Okay. So. Jack the Ripper is the name given to an unidentified serial killer that terrorised what city in 1888? A. Margate. <laughs> <laughs> Margate. Oh, God. B. Barcelona. C. London. D. Manchester. Well, I know the answer, but if I was to get it wrong, my history teacher would slit my throat. <laughs> Fair enough. So, what is the answer? London. Final answer. C. London. Final answer. Specifically Whitechapel, wasn't it? Correct. You now, well, have 20p. Have <laughs> 20p. <laughs> Question uh, three. I can't even buy curly wordy no. yet. That's sad. Question three. Four. 50p. 50p. If you get it wrong, you go home with nothing. Wow. Okay? So. Wow. Game set match is an expression used to indicate a competitor has won the game in which sport? A. Tennis. B. Football, C, hockey, or D, badminton? Well, I would say tennis, but you can use it in badminton as well. Because it's like they're both practically the same sport. One's got a longer racket and a shuttlecock, and the other one's got <coughs> a short bat and a, and a hard green ball. But I'm going to say tennis. Tennis? Yeah. A, tennis? Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. Oh, you have 50p. Surely it would be badminton as well, then. Possibly. <laughs> so, question four. If you get this right, you get 75p. 75p. If you get it wrong, you go home with 50p. Okay, right. In the world of video games, what does NES stand for? NES? The hell? I've never even heard of that. It's a console. Oh, the NES. A. Oh, like the SNES and all of that. Yeah. A. Oh. Nintendo Entertainment Software. B. Nintendo Electronic System, C. New Entertainment System, or D. Nintendo Entertainment System. Well, it's definitely Nintendo. Repeat these answers to me. A. Nintendo Entertainment Software, B. Nintendo Electronic System, C. New Entertainment System, or D. Nintendo Entertainment System. God, can we go 50-50 on this one? I really, I really don't recognise the name, like the abbreviation. Okay. Or whatever you want to call it. So. 50 50? Mm. C. New Entertainment System or D. Nintendo Entertainment System? Well, it's new in. No, it's, wait, wait, repeat them again. Wait, new, wait. In, new Entertainment System or Nintendo Entertainment System? Yeah, Nintendo Entertainment System. I can't, how's it new? Correct. Okay, good. I've not <coughs> actually heard of that though. Is that bad? That is bad. I've You've not... never heard of NES. Well, no, I've heard of it, but I just never. I... You don't know that it's the Nintendo Entertainment System. Why do I not know that? You now have 75 pence, somehow. For question five, you are playing for one pound. You can walk away with the 75p, or you can lose and only have 50p. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> no, let's do this. You may have to phone a friend for this. Oh no. Or ask the audience. Really? Okay, so, five. Which wedding anniversary is traditionally referred to as the golden wedding anniversary? Oh, bloody hell. A, 30th. B, 50th, C, 70th, or D, 2nd? 
It's not second, right. Uh, 30th, I don't think it's 30th. Uh, the other two you said were... What, what, what 50th said? or 70th? I actually think it's 50th. I'm actually quite confident with that. I think it's 50th. Final answer? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah, okay. That, I knew it wasn't 30 because I would have known that because of my grandparents. Now, you know, they're like dice. This pound, you're guaranteed to walk away now. Okay, I'm guaranteed to walk away with a pound. That's a good thing. Push a six only a pound. for £1.50. pound fifty. Okay. Come on. Which book holds the record of being the most stolen book from public libraries? Wow. A. The Dictionary. <laughs> B. Oliver. C. The Guinness Book of World Records. Any one of them. Or D. Thesaurus. I'll say the question again. Okay. Which book holds the record of being the most stolen book from public libraries? The Dictionary, Damn. Oliver, Guinness Book of World Records, or the Thesaurus? Well, there are people who hate English literature, so it probably wouldn't be Oliver. You're All right, let me, let me process of elimination. They're quite easy. Okay. Let me eliminate the one. Right, so Dictionary, most people have one. Yeah. Thesaurus, most people have one because it's together with the Dictionary now. And then the Guinness World, World Book of World Records. Probably everyone was one of those, and then Oliver. Who cares about English literature? So it's just for old people now, isn't it? This is the twenty-first century. I'm actually going to say the Guinness World Book Book of World Records. Final answer. The Guinness Book of World Records. That's my second answer. I'm joking. Final answer. One. Final answer. Correct. Hey. One more pound fifty. See, more obvious than you think. Yeah. Well. I say that was obvious. Well, it's ironic that the Guinness Book of World Records holds the record. That is the most that is quite ironic. Right. Question seven for two pounds. Two pounds. Let's go, boys. What is the name for the branch of mathematics dealing with lengths and angles of triangles? Oh, I know this. A. Trigonometry. B. Algebra. C. Numeracy. numeracy. Or D. Calculation. <laughs> Calculation. <laughs> well, I'm going to say trigonometry final arts. Trigonometry final arts. Mm -hmm. Correct. You have one, uh, two pound. Woo! And you go home with that two pound. Eight. Victoria Beckham was a member of which all girl English pop group formed in 1994? I thought I used to know this, but it's not something it wasn't. The Spice Girls. Yeah, that's what I B, thought originally. Girls Aloud. C. Fifth Harmony. Or D. Little Mix. Yeah, I know it's not so Little the Mix. Spice Girls, Girls Allowed, yeah. Fifth Harmony, or Little Mix. You see, I feel that you have Ask the Audience, Clue, and. Um, yeah, yeah, hang on. Let me think, one. let me think, hang on. Right, so the Spice Girls, that, there was Mel B, Mel C, and then the other two, which I don't remember. I thought Victoria Beckham was one of them originally, but then uh, ages ago someone told me, where'd you get that from? Just <laughs> <laughs> staring <laughs> blankly. <laughs> Only girls allowed. <coughs> I don't even know who's part of them. Then the other two, I don't even remember what you said. Fifth Harmony and Little Mix. It's not a Little Mix, because they're, they're all like little girls, like favourite. And then. I oh, really want to say the Spice Girls. <laughs> oh, go on, Spice Girls final answer. Spice Girls final answer. I'm probably wrong. Correct. It won two pounds. I was right then. <laughs> oh. Well, I know more than I, than I thought. Nine. Question nine. Oh my god, we get in there. Four. Three pound. Jesus Christ. <laughs> three pound. Either go home <laughs> crazy over three pound. Two pound. Or, well, if you get the answer wrong, you go home with two pound. You can either walk away with two pound fifty, or get the answer right for three pound. I'm gonna get the answer right. Come on. The dingo is a type of feral dog native to which country? A. South Africa. B. France. C. Italy. Or D. Australia. Australia? Final answer. Final answer? Yeah. Correct. Three pounds. Who was in Africa? Uh... Question 10. What is the national sport of Japan? A. Hockey. B. Martial arts. C. Sumo. Or D. Darts. We say in Japan. Well, martial... hockey, martial arts, sumo, or darts? Well, remember you I got know it's three lifelines. Yeah, left. yeah. No, this is easy. You may want to use this them. is this is easy. I was hoping you wouldn't say table tennis. I know what you're like, because <laughs> table tennis is ch Chinese. So martial arts is like, it's like, kind of, well, it's kind of both really. But mainly, if you're saying the most thing, in hockey, the, martial arts, yeah, sumo, sumo or darts. That's Japan. You see all the people with the big things, like the 
bands around their head. Lead question. Huh? Lead answer. Yeah, I'm saying sumo. Sumo. For more. Correct. Yeah. They're they both do martial arts, so that's why I was like, hang on a minute. Mm. But it's not the national sport. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. In what year was the Nintendo 64 officially released? Nintendo 64. A. 1982 B. 1978 C. 1964 or D. 1996 Nintendo 64? Mm. I think it's 90... Oh, wait, what was the last one? The last one? 1996 Yeah, I think it's 96 I think I do know that cause my dad had one I think Did he? Or was that the other one? I'll make a drug I'm gonna say 96 96? Yeah Final answer? Yeah Correct Woo! <laughs> oh, fire! Question 12, for five pounds. Oh, God. <laughs> Who were the first two astronauts that landed on the moon in 1969? <laughs> oh, God. A, Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins. B, Neil Armstrong oh, and Buzz Aldrin. I knew it was Neil Armstrong. C, Alan already. Bean and Michael Collins. Or D, Neil Armstrong and Alan Shepard. Well, I know I knew Neil Armstrong was the first man on the space, but I didn't know. Uh, I don't know. Again, I want to. The other guy was friend. a Russian, right? Because it was a race between the U.S. and the Russians, and it was some Russian. Well, I don't know, but are you going to call a friend? Well, you do know. You got the answers. <laughs> I don't know if he's Russian or not. Yeah, I think they were Russian because it was a race, but the Russians actually won. I think. Would you like to call a friend? It's fine, Billy. Are you ready, Harry? Yes. So, <laughs> who? were the first two astronauts that landed on the moon in 1969? A. Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins B. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin C. Alan Bean and Michael Collins or D. Neil Armstrong and Alan Shepard B. B. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin Yeah. Thank you very much. So, you've used your phone lifeline. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go through the names one more time. And I'll A. Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins B. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> C. Alan Bean and Michael Collins. Or D. Neil Armstrong and Alan Shepard. Well, he sounded confident. <laughs> B. So, but obviously he doesn't know what it's for. He'll just be guessing. Well, it depends if he was, uh, Neil Armstrong was accompanied by someone with him. I assume he was. He probably would go alone. I said who were the first two astronauts. So it exactly. Has to be two. Yeah, exactly. He would be would have been accompanied, or yeah, it wouldn't have been at the same time if a Russian. Russians are racing the US. Yeah, let's go B then. B? Yeah. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Oh god. Probably go final answer B. Well, it's got to be. <coughs> sure we don't want to use any other lifeline? Actually, that's, yeah, I might as well use up the last one as well. Because it's the last question. Ask the audience. Yeah, let's go. 50% say A, 50% say B. It's just like 50 50. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, B then, go for B. It. Yeah, final answer. Do it, do B. it, do it, do it. You can either have won five pounds. Look at me. You can either have won five pounds or you're walking away with three. B, your final answer. Have you got it right? You have won. Five pounds! <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? You've won it. You've won five pounds. Nice play with you. Good play. Good play. Nice playing with you. We knew you could do it. I mean, Harry helped you for that one. So, that is it for today's episode of Who Wants to Win a Fiver? <laughs> Who Wants to Win a Fiver? <laughs>